we will demonstrate how to start CRT. The dose is calculated based on body weight and hematocrite. In ICU, out of all modalities, CVB HDF is preferred. We will use citrate anticoagulation. Filter set package is opened. M100 is for adult. M60 is for pediatric use. There are color coded connectors which needs to be identified. Dialyzer fluid bags Filter set is loaded on the machine. Attach pressure ports. Deaeration chamber. Return pressure port connected, air bubble detector, return clamp. Two more pressure ports attached. Load selected. Machine will load the filter set automatically. Confirm. Time to load and connect fluid bags. Priming solution spiked with the red cannula. Pull the yellow scale, effluent drain bag loaded, pull the white scale, pre-blood pump bag which is sighted anticoagulation loaded. Pull the green scale, load the dial set bag, pull the purple scale, load the replacement fluid bag. Blue return line connected to the effluent drain bag. Fluid bags spiked with the cannula as per the color code. White one to the pea blood sighted anticoagulation. Green to the dialysate fluid. Purple to the replacement fluid.
Let's continue. Prime plus test. If any block or kink in the circuit, machine alarm will come. It will show the site of problem. Now it's ready. On clamp all lines. Press prime plus test. System will prime with normal saline. It will take around 5 minutes. Air pockets will be drained to the effluent drain bag. Can tap gently on the dialyzer to remove air pockets. If needed, one more bottle of normal saline connected. Manual prime pressed. Fluid level in the deaeration venous chamber adjusted to the three fourth level by pressing the knob. Confirm level. Now CRRT treatment settings entered. Blood flow to start with at 90 ml per minute. Dialysate at around 700 ml per hour. Replacement fluid to start with 300 ml per hour. Citrate dose will fix at 2.6 millimoles per liter of blood as our patient has little higher lactate. Continue. Connect to patient. Dialysis lines cleaned with chlorohexidine wipes. Two to three ml of blood aspirated from each port to remove any clot or air. And then it's discarded. Free flow ensured by aspirating and pushing blood. Blue line removed from the effluent bag. Yellow line connected in its place. Calcium gluconate infusion started as we are using citrate anticoagulation. Red and blue access lines connected to the patient's dialysis port.
unclamp all lines CRT started Green port is connected when heparin anticoagulation is used. Gradual rise in transmembrane pressure is observed. There are two ports for blood sample collection, pre and post filter. During the process of CRT, volume of all the bags checked frequently. Now, how to end CRT? Press stop. Red access line removed. connected to the priming bottle press resume now it will return the blood to the patient once it's done press stop discontinue the blue return line connect to the prime bottle press end treatment disconnect on load treatment complete